How was lockdown for me? Uh, interesting question. Lockdown for me was a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest with you. Because from the moment that the Prime Minister locked us down as a nation, uh, I just thought to myself, what the hell am I going to do here? How the hell am I going to cope here? In fact, not how the hell am I going to cope. Am I going to cope? But thankfully I did. Thankfully, due to the power of the paintbrush, I managed to get through it. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I'm not an any any person. I am, in fact, an outy outy person, which basically means that I don't like to spend a lot of time around the house. I'm always out and about doing something, whether I'm out singing, whether I'm out on the motorcycle, whether I'm at the gym, whether I'm out with my friends, having a social or whatever. Um, I'm, I, I normally just tend to sleep in the house uh, and that's uh, pretty much the only time I spend here. But to be told that I'm to indefinitely lock myself down in my house, on my own, with nobody but me, myself and I for company, that was a major issue for me. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to be able to get through it. That is when I came across a childhood hero of mine, Timmy Mallet. Timmy, um, I remembered from his days on children's television in the 80s on Wackaday. I was a massive fan of Mallet's Mallet. Hold on a second. Pinky Punky, yeah? Everyone remembers Pinky Punky, right? And uh, yeah, basically, I caught wind of, of Timmy's uh, lives on, uh, on Facebook. And basically, he was uh, he was painting pictures live on Facebook on um, a, a little online show, an online thread called Mallet's Palette. And this was my saving grace in lockdown. Timmy, if you're watching, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, what Timmy would do, he'd be live on Facebook and other social media. What he'd do, he'd have a blank canvas. Uh, have all his paints, all his bits and pieces there. Have a little chit chat to everyone first of all. Uh, get everyone involved and then literally step by step, piece by piece, brick by brick, he'd talk you through exactly what he was doing and simplify these masterpieces that he was painting. And believe you me, they were absolutely fantastic by the time it went from this blank canvas step by step all the way through to the finished article they were amazing and i just thought to myself wow i'm inspired this looks like fun i want to dig my paints out so that's exactly what i did so after digging my paints out following uh, mr mallet's step by step guide as, as he was doing his uh, mallet's palette live stream um i started to feel pretty good about things i started to feel myself hey this lockdown nonsense ain't so bad after all um Upon following the steps, getting something on canvas, I came up first of all with a couple of landscapes, then I moved on to seascapes. While I was painting these seascapes, I was painting from photographs, photographs of West Wales, photographs of Cyprus, places I've been and places I like to spend time and places I'd rather be than stuck in the house right now on lockdown, you know? So I was painting these pictures and as I was painting them, I was just painting pictures of, of where I want to be, pretty much. So I made a page then called Cayman's Canvas, which is on Facebook, Cayman's Canvas. Um, people started to like the page, people started to follow the page. I just started posting my paintings up on there. And one painting, one, one of the seascapes I did, someone put on there, how much? Uh, it, was, it was my friends uh, from Newport. Um, so, so I was like, well, I don't know, I haven't put them on to sell, you know, I've just put them on to, you know, share what I've been doing. But they were like, no, we want this one, we want this one, and we want this one. So, anyway, cut a long story short, they came over, uh, I sold them the paintings. Fantastic. So then I just kept painting, I kept painting, and I really enjoy it. I found one night, I spent four hours on one painting, and I didn't even realise, I was just there. Um, so, you know, my phone was on silent. I was ignoring everybody. Well, I wasn't ignoring everybody, but that's what they thought. Um, but so by the time I finished this painting, I, I started. It was, you know, I, I just uh, just logged off on the laptop for the day from work. Uh, probably about five after five. 
I started painting, and before you know it, it's, it's like it's quarter to ten in the night. I'm like, Where's the time gone? So to me, painting is an absolute source, an absolute source of positivity, an absolute source of positive well-being. Um, it's it's great for for your morale. It's great for your mental health. And you know what? If I can paint, anybody can paint. So on uh, on this one lockdown day, I was just minding my own business, uh, probably painting. That's that's how I roll now, um, evenings and weekends mainly. Uh, but on this one lockdown day, uh, a text came through off my girlfriend. Um, it says that there's this little drawing of Pat Butcher from EastEnders. Um, it's a dodgy drawing. It didn't really look anything like good, but it but it was a clip from eBay. It was a like a like a screenshot from e from an eBay advert, and it said Pat Butcher nude sold, and it was something like two hundred and one pound. So my girlfriend says to me in this message, she's like, you, you're in the wrong field, you, you need to get onto nudes. And I'm like, wow, yeah, I do. So I thought then, I'll paint myself a nice Pat Butcher nude. So I did. I Googled a picture of Pat Butcher as my, uh, my go-to picture. Um, tried to get a likeness. Mm, got it a little bit, I think, you know. Was, she's not that difficult. Uh, got her baps out in this picture. And uh, so basically I'd done it in acrylics and then I wrote up a big funny write up for eBay just thinking to myself all right so let's see where we go with this see how it rolls I wrote things like she's no oil painting but she is an acrylic ha 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 yeah king of comedy should have been in stand-up I know um, little things like uh, thank you for having a butchers at our pat you'll be pleased to be patting yourself on the back after Bidding on this auction, blah de blah de blah de blah, things like that. It's uh, you know, it's just a just a bit of a laugh, bit of a giraffe. But uh, yeah, so Pat Butcher then, uh, the Pat Butcher nude sold for eighteen pounds, and I thought to myself, wow, <laughs> there's money to be made on eBay here. Yeah? Who's next? So the next day, anyway, I was working from home, telly on in the background, loose women's on, and just tapping along doing my work, and then I glance up at the screen. And I see a thing of beauty looking back at me. Janet Street Porter. It dawned on me. It was a light bulb moment. It struck me right there, right then. Boom! You're next. And uh, off to the races we went. She was the theme of that evening. So when I logged off from work that day, I got the easel out. Trusty one behind me here. I uh, found myself a little base picture online of uh, the beauty that is known as Janet Street Porter. Lovely lady. Uh, 20 minutes later, we've got our picture. 10 minutes after that, I'm taking pictures of my picture. I tweet it to Loose Women and Janet Street Porter. Next thing you know, it's only on the bloody tally. Freaked right out. I had no idea about it. Looking at my bids, it started, right? eBay. I was on my own from work, and all of a sudden, bing, 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 bing. I put this painting on for 30 quid. All of a sudden then, 40 quid. 50 quid, 100 quid, and text my girlfriend, I'm like, babe, I think someone's having a laugh for you, you know what I mean? Someone's taking the mick out of me. All of a sudden, 8,000 freaking quid. I'm like, what the hell? And I look at my eBay messages, and they're just popping up and up and up and up. And the views on this picture, on this painting, they're going up and up and up and up. There's like something like 9,000 and odd views on it now. Uh, something like 1,000 and odd watchers. And there's something like 20, 30 odd bids. And we're on eight grand. I mean, come on. This is a painting which took this rookie wannabe artist something like 20 minutes to do. And yeah, I got the likeness, I think. But it wasn't the greatest painting. But they bid in eight grand. I read the messages then anyway. And someone in the messages says to me, uh, congratulations, I'm guessing you know by now that your painting has been shown to Janet Street Porter live on Loose Women today. I was like, what the fudge? Heart pounding in my chest, didn't know what to do. Started pacing around the coffee table, wondering what was going on. I'd missed the program because I was in work at the time as well, so I had to wait for catch up in the evening then to watch it. But by God, spun me right out. And guys, guys, listen to me now, right? If I can get a painting on television, you can get a painting on television. Anybody can. 
and what a feeling it was, right? It was absolutely hysterical. The four women on that panel, they were all in hysterics, absolutely creased over in laughter. I, when I was watching it back on the, on the replay, I was absolutely doubled over in laughter myself. Absolutely nuts. And then a couple of bids were retracted, uh, but the painting eventually sold them for five and a half thousand pounds. So that's pretty much a, a, a five pound canvas, uh, probably with about three pounds worth of oil paints on it, sold for five and a half thousand pounds. I'd sold a painting of a nude Janet Street Porter for five and a half thousand pounds. Blown away, absolutely blown away. Anyway, to cut yet another story short, um, so basically the, the buyer decided that they couldn't commit to the buy for whatever reason, personal problems, um, lack of funds, whatever. We didn't establish what it was. I just accepted that. Um, I'm not a greedy man. Granted, the five and a half grand would have come in handy to pay off uh, a couple of couple of outgoings to pay off the bike on uh, the finance on my bike or something but I wasn't gonna make a big scene out of it uh, so later on I was in talks with Kavatha Museum uh, Kavatha Castle is a well-known castle uh, purpose-built castle in the Merthyr Tidville area former home to the Iron Master William Crochet uh, basically there's a unique museum there now a lot of Merthyr's history is in there and there's a gallery in there now and the Janet Street Port and nude painting is now part of that gallery. So as you walk into Kavartha Castle, take a sharp left past the counter into the gallery and Janet Street Port and nude, the Janet Street Port and nude as seen on television ladies and gentlemen is right there for all to see. Um, so basically guys what I'm saying is just because something negative is going on in your life and lockdown was going to be a super negative time for me that doesn't mean to say that you can't swing that around spin that mofo around and turn it into something positive and for me painting is a positive thing if you're on your own paint the place and the people that you want to be or be with if you're on your own pick up the brushes guys get yourself a canvas Get yourself a few paints, whether they're oil paints, acrylics, watercolors, whatever, and believe you me, you will lose hours and hours of time on that canvas, and it is such a good buzz for your mental health, for your well-being, and you'll be thanking yourself for doing it in the long run. My name is Cayman. Check out my page, Cayman's Canvas, and uh, stay safe, and remember, stay sane. Painting's the way forward. Woohoo!